Eric Carle and Pete Mondrian, the comparisons and similarities of two artists. This is here is some of Pete Mondrian's work. This one here, he focuses on his designs. Here, there's lots of little details. Here, he has influenced designers to use his style because his st this style in this picture is on these Nike shoes. Some of Eric Carl's work. These two cats right here, lots of little details. Very simple caterpillar. He focuses on animals. Um, and he also writes the books to the stories. The things these two artists have in common. Pete Mondrian and Eric Carl both are very dedicated and have lots of passion for their artwork. And both Pete Mondrian and Eric Carl have lived in New York City at some point of their lives. Five words to describe Pete Mondrian. Dedicated, inspired, believer, daring, emerged in his work. Five words to describe Eric Carr. Creative, passionate, innovative, positive, understanding. Places Eric Carl has lived in. Stuttgart, Germany. Syracuse, New York. Florida Keys, North Carolina, and Massachusetts. Places Pete Mondrian has lived in. Armsfort, Netherlands. Hagu. Amsterdam, Paris, London, and New York. Five pieces of Eric Carl's work. Number one, the very hungry caterpillar. Number two, the mixed up chameleon. Number three, a tiny seed. Number four, baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? And number five, roosters off to see the world. Pete Mondrian's work. Number one, church. Number two, confirmation. Number three, chrysanthemum. Number four, Broadway Boogie. Number five, Composition A. Style. Eric Carl focuses on animals when he is painting. His animals aren't just any ordinary animals. They are his very own unique style of animals. Pete Mondrian focuses on landscapes. As a kid, Pete would go down to the river and paint landscapes. Influences. Bill Martin Jr. has influenced Eric Carle, and Picasso has influenced Pete Mondrian. Eric Carle's influence. Eric Carle has influenced others to think outside the box, go beyond normal use of color, such as his painting Blue Horse, use life experience to create a story, and use your imagination. Pete Mondrian's influences. Pete Mondrian influenced others to do his style. He influenced people like painters, graphic designers, and even high fashion designers. Comparing artwork. Here we have the blue horse and the style of his shoe. Um, in the blue horse, it's an animal. It's very unique. It's a character in a book that Eric Carle also wrote and drew the pictures for. Painted with painted paper glue onto a paper Paint, made with painted paper glued onto another paper and lots of little details. This one here, very simple, design, brand name, Pete Mondrian's design. Fashion designers were influenced by him. That's why they made that. Another comparing artwork. See, you have the ladybug and then a very high-tech design. The ladybug is very simple, a character in a book, an animal, simple colors, very quick. Um, the high-tech one. A large variety of colors, unique shades, complicated, almost like a maze. Would have taken a long time to paint, not thrown together quickly. The last one, comparing artwork. Here we have a fox, down here we have a tree. The fox, animal, not many different colors, very simple, all one shade of green, no unique fixtures. Down here, it's a landscape, like he said, that he influenced others and liked painting landscapes. Many different shades of blues and blacks and even green and yellows. Hard effort and long hours put into this. Very detailed. I hope you liked my paper slide video today. Thank you.